In our last video, we talked about a company called Speedy Bicycles that manufactured bicycles and was trying to decide whether to continue manufacturing the bicycle saddles, which are also known as seats, in-house or whether to purchase them from an outside supplier for $50,000. And we identified the total relevant cost of manufacturing in-house as being $46,000 which since it was less than the cost to purchase from an outside supplier suggested we should continue manufacturing the seats in-house instead of buying them from the outside supplier. But the question remains, what if by getting rid of our manufacturing of the saddles, what if, if we stop doing that, can we use the space inside our factory to do something else, right? So basically what I'm asking is, is there some kind of opportunity cost? So hypothetically, we could use that space that we used to use to make these saddles to do something else. And let's say that we thought about it and we said, you know what, there is some opportunity cost here. We can manufacture something else. And so then we have to figure, okay, what would be the segment margin, right? What would be the segment margin, the profit margin from that segment that we would get if we did that instead of making the bicycle seats with that space, right? If we instead use that space in the factory to manufacture something else, what profit would we get from that? And let's say that we think about it carefully and say, you know what, we think that we could get $20,000 uh, would be our segment margin, right? So then now we have to say, okay, there's an opportunity cost here, and that's that segment margin foregone. Right? So by, by continuing to manufacture in-house, we're not only incurring these costs of direct materials, direct labor, and variable overhead, but we're also foregoing this $20,000 in, in profit that we could have if we use that space to do this other thing, right? If to manufacture this other thing and get that segment margin. So now we have to consider this opportunity cost and we'll add that to our total relevant cost because that's relevant when we're deciding whether to make or buy. So now we have $66,000 is the relevant cost associated with continuing to make or manufacture in-house our product. But remember that for $50,000, we could purchase all the saddles that we need, these 5,000 saddles, we could purchase them from an outside supplier. So it would actually be $16,000 cheaper, right? The 66,000 minus the 50, it'd be $16,000 cheaper for us to just purchase the saddles from an outside supplier.